today we are going to show you how to do an oil change on a Dodge Magnum. Uh, it will be the same procedure for a Dodge Charger as well right here and Chrysler 300 as well with the 3.5 V6 engine as you can see right here. Oh yeah, so if you open the manual on page 358 right here, you can see the capacities and if you have a different engine as well, and let's say you have the 2.7, but ours is 3.5 uh, without uh, uh, all wheel drive, so engine oil with filter in our case, okay, we are right here, 3.5 engine, 6 quarts or 5.7 liters. And uh, what we're using right here, it's a 5W30 Castro, so this is a 5 quart jack and we need 6 quarts, so you need to buy, you need to buy uh, uh, one extra quart for that. And this is the, air, the oil filter if you're using from PH16. Okay, next thing guys, what you need to do, you need to jack the car up on uh, both sides and put a, put a jack stand or you can, you can do it on the phone right here, but you need to have a jack stand and a 17 millimeter wrench and the oil plug is on the back of the oil pan right there. So uh, if you go counterclockwise, you just take it off, loosen it, and we need to remove the oil plug now, uh, all the way, and let it drain. It'll be quite a bit of oil, six cold, so make sure you have a big pan or a bucket to collect it. Okay, and as you can see, this one is pretty black, hasn't been replaced for a long time. We just got the car. Okay, so now let it drain, it's going to take you probably about five to ten minutes if you leave the car uh, if you drive the car before you do the oil change the oil will be warm and it will come out easier but make sure you don't burn yourself on the hot oil so uh, it's up to you how you decide to do it on some engine guys there is an under cover but this one it's been it, it's broken as you can see there is four bolts holding in two on the front and two on the back and uh, if you if you have it you need to remove it but it's pretty simple so you can change the oil, okay, we're still, still dripping some, so we'll give it a little bit more time. Okay, we're done, and now what you need to do guys, you need to install the oil plug back on the oil pan and get it tight now, do not leave it for later, because you might, you might forget guys, and if you forget from vibration, you get it loose, you get loose and uh, you leak all the oil out of the engine and ruin the engine, so get it tight now, don't forget it. Don't leave it for later, just get it done now. Okay, like that. We need to remove the oil filter which is located right there on the front driver's side of the oil pan. And this one was pretty loose. Uh, we'll show you what you need to do to make sure that uh, uh, it doesn't get stuck for the next oil change. So stay with us to see what we're going to do. If, if, it's, uh, if it's too tight, you can use oil filter pliers to take it off, but ours was pretty simple. Okay, just like that. And make sure guys that you recycle the oil and the oil filter. Do not pollute on it, do not just put it in the trash can. Take it to Walmart or any any center, they'll take it for free. Some places will even give you money for it. Okay, now we need to get the new filter guys. And uh, if you just install it now, it's going to get stuck on because the rubber is dry. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to apply a little bit of the clean new oil on the rubber seal like that. This way you'll be able to take it off easy next time and since it's a, it's a, a filter that it just bolts on like that, it's, a, it's vertical, we're going to fill it up a little bit so we can avoid dry start, okay? You don't have to do all the all the way but at least some, that way uh, the car will have oil when you start it because if it's a dry filter, uh, the first few seconds it will run with no oil which which is uh, not a problem but it's it's not good I mean if you can save it it's better and all we need to do now just go ahead and install it on the oil filter housing now uh, you can you can wipe a little bit here and there if you made a mess because most likely you will because when you remove the old one they will always leak okay and get it tight get it tight by hand don't use any special tools guys because there is no need to get it too tight. So as much as you can with your hand, that's plenty. Okay, so uh, so far two things not to forget. The oil plug and the oil filter to get both of those tight. Now you're ready to remove the jack stand, get everything underneath the car out of there and just let it down now to be leveled, okay? All the way down. And now we need to go ahead and add the oil and uh, we're using 530, but they recommend 1030. Okay, right here, so 
you can uh, you need to remove that oil cap right here depending on the temperature guys and where you are you can use different oils and you can find that in the manual what oil it's recommending according to the temperature outside okay now just go ahead and add uh, six quarts okay and we will go ahead and add five quarts from that jug because it's a five quart jug some are four so be careful pay attention what you get and not to overfill it because it will cause catalytic damage because it will burn through the exhaust and the extra excessive amount of oil will cook up the catalytic converters. Okay guys, this is according to the temperature outside. You can see what kind of oil you need to use right here if you need to. Okay, we added an extra, extra cord. So we have six cords now guys. You can put the funnel out of there, install the cap because if you don't you lose vacuum and spray oil everywhere okay and now what we're going to do we will we'll put the dipstick but we'll probably have uh, a little bit too much because uh, uh, the oil filter is not full all the way now so we'll wipe it pull it again and what you need to do after that if uh, make sure that you have enough oil first we're going to start it okay and it's uh, right at maximum right now you need to start it and let it run for about a minute or two and then uh, turn it off and let it let it stay for about five minutes before we can get another reading okay now we're going to go ahead and start it right there and just uh, just let it run for a, for a minute and turn it off after that okay now pull the dipstick wipe it again guys because the first reading will not be accurate since it's sprayed I want the dipstick and put it again, pull it out and see what you're getting the second time. Okay, and right now it's uh, right at minimum. So you can actually add a little bit more to be between the minimum and the maximum only. Six quarts, uh, you will be barely, barely above the minimum, but uh, not too much. So probably you can do 6.2, 6.3 quarts. So that's the whole procedure guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, we have a new video on our channel every day.